Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be taking a look at the recently upgraded and one of my favorite and most reliable fire starting tools on the market, which is the Survival Torch from prepared for x What prepared for x has created here is the perfect all-in-one fire starting solution that includes a ferro rod, a striker, and a wick that gives you the ability to light kindling and start larger fires. The Survival Torch is extremely durable, it's waterproof, it's really simple to use, and it can be used to start hundreds of fires, making it an excellent tool to take with you camping backpacking to add to your bug out bag or get home bags or to keep at home and today we're going to be taking a quick look at it and testing it out all right so let's dive in and take a look at the survival torch basically what we've got here is a 36 inch piece of waterproof wax infused hemp rope that's connected to a curved steel striker and it's also fed through a high-vis orange aluminum housing which serves as a platform for striking and it also holds a six and a half inch ferro rod the wax rope has a burn time of approximately three hours but it should only take you a few seconds to start a fire so it should provide you with hundreds of uses. The smaller version is slightly shorter and it has a 4 and 3 8 inch ferro rod and everything else is pretty much the same but it's about half the weight of the larger version and as a result it's much more portable and convenient to take with you hiking or backpacking and this would definitely be the one that I would recommend putting into a survival kit. Here's a quick look at how the new version of the survival torch compares to the old one and you might remember we took a look at this one about a year ago on this channel and overall they're pretty similar similar, but the aluminum housing on the new version was slimmed down significantly and as a result the wave dropped down from about 10 ounces to about 8 ounces, so we're left with a leaner and more efficient design. Alright so now I'm going to give you guys a quick demonstration of how easy it is to start a fire with the survival torch. The first thing we're going to do is pull out about 1 to 1 and a half inches of the rope and then use the serrated end of the striker to fray the end. Then you lay the striker perpendicular to the ferro rod with both curved edges touching the ferro rod and then you're going to scrape off the black paint so you have an exposed surface on the ferro rod. To start a fire you can place the front end of the survival torch on a solid surface and then you're going to lay the striker perpendicular to the ferro rod with both curved edges touching the ferro rod and then scrape the ferro rod with the striker so you're showering the frayed end of the rope with sparks and as you can see it's really easy to get a fire started and once you've got that fire going you can control the size of the flame by increasing or decreasing the size of the wick. When the end of that rope is lit now you can get a larger fire started and what I've got here is the survival stove which is also from prepared for x and this setup is great for cooking or having a nice little safely contained fire to keep warm next to and all you need to do is load it up with some kindling and some small pieces of wood and start a fire with the survival torch. When you're ready to extinguish the flame, all you need to do is pull the rope back inside of the housing. There's a few reasons why I think this is a really excellent setup. First and foremost, having something that's waterproof is a huge advantage because typically water and fire starters like matches don't really mix well and it can be tough to get fire started with any kind of moisture present. But with this setup, you don't really have to worry if it gets wet. And if it does, you can just cut the end off of the rope and start fresh and then you're good to go. Most ferro rod and striker combos don't come with any tinder, which is the foundation for your fire, or anything else to help you start the fire either. So you either need to bring along some of your own or make some yourself on the go. But with this setup, you pretty much have everything you need. Another big advantage to this setup is longevity. Fire starters that rely on butane or some other type of fuel to get started typically have a relatively short lifespan because the fuel can easily evaporate. And this could be a big disaster if you are relying on a lighter and it dries up and you don't have any backup fire starter. With the survival torch, you could toss this into a backpack, come back a decade later and still have fire starting capabilities. You can pick up both version two of the large and the small versions of the survival torch on prepared for X's website which will be linked to down in the description below. And you can also save 15% using the coupon code urbansurvivor15, which I'll put down there below as well. 